All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So my patience is running very low, uh, waiting for Wheel of Time to come back. <laughs> and so I wanted to talk about what we can expect for season three, at least the beginning of it. Now, this video will have a couple major spoilers. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? You hear what I'm saying to you? Major spoilers for the show and the book, specifically The Shadow Rising. So this is your warning. All right, so let's let's get into it. It's gonna be it's gonna start in the middle of the video. The spoiler's gonna start in the middle of the video. Just, I, just I'm just warning you. All right. All right, y'all. So season three, like, whew, it's get it's it's coming, y'all. It's coming because Yoshi's over here talking about doing press uh in London for Wheel of Time. I. Uh, Oh, I'm so excited. He and the beautiful, talented actress who plays Egwene and also the creator, they're going to be on a Comic-Con panel in Brazil uh, on the 7th of December. So that's exciting as well. I'm hoping that we get a trailer. We need it. We, I need it. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. If you haven't seen... I mean, you should be watching this video if you haven't seen Wheel of Time because this. when I say spoilers, I'm about to spoil. But like, if you haven't seen this, and you happen to click on this first, you need to click on, but like, you need to check out the show. Oh my gosh. Egwene, we fight. We stand with Egwene. Yes, ma'am. Um, okay, so really, we're really back. We're really back. I wanted to talk about this article from way back in May. So I know it's old, but seeing all the news slowly build up about season three, I was just like, I am so excited. I need to talk about something. I need to talk about something. Okay. So I want to talk about this article where Rafe, the creator of the show, said that we're about to open the season with a bonkers 15 minute set piece. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. He said, the first 15 minutes of season three is one of the most bonkers set pieces I've ever seen on television. I was just watching it this week and it is absolutely bananas what our team pulled off. Just a bunch of women in their 40s and 50s shredding each other and it is wonderful to behold. And so obviously I'm thinking that's Aes Sedai fighting. And that's really all I can say without getting into some major spoilers. Do you hear what I'm saying? Major. So this is your warning to click off the video now because I'm about to get into it. Major spoilers for the show and also the book, specifically The Shadow Rising. So now that that's out the way, the spoilers. <laughs> so I think that Rafe is talking up here about the moment where the White Tower broke in The Shadow Rising, right? Because... um. <laughs> Swan really thought, girl, like she really thought, she really thought she had the pieces moving and going the way that she needed. And Elida came in there like, hey, my master. <laughs> Elida came in there to Swan and was like, get up, get up, get, get up off the Emerald seat, get up. <laughs> when I tell you, and then the blues ain't nowhere to be seen. Don't play with me, y'all. Like, don't play with me. So when I tell you, I cannot wait to see Shofre play Elida. Play Elida, oh my gosh. I love her in anything. I love her when anytime I see her on my screen. Especially loved her in Expanse, right? Especially. I think she was a perfect pick for this character, Elida. And I cannot wait to see them fighting. Now, this is how I think it's gonna happen. Let's let's just get into it. Because in the in the show, in the books, I can, I think we kind of see what's up. We don't really see the fighting fighting for real. We just kind of see when it's starting the like kind of the aftermath and a little bit of the wards doing stuff. I think if I remember right, and so it would be cool to see that like how they actually went in there and zapped and and took the tower. Like we already, and then also maybe we'll actually see the stealing of Swan. I just, so many possibilities. So I think that it's just going to be Aes Sedai dragging each other by their wigs. I think, I want to see lightning come down. I want to see threads of fire. I want to see, you know what I mean? I want to see the threads of spirit coming down and shielding people and, and dragging them. I want to see it. <laughs> I need it right, like I need it right now, y'all. So yeah, what I think was going, what I think is going to happen is that we start off with the tower having completely been shattered and we start off in the midst of the fighting and then maybe as the episode goes on we we get a little bit more of how we we got there so almost like 
the the beginning of the episode is I don't know, I don't know, time jump. And then we go back in time after the fight to see, like, how did the White Tower end up like this? Like, let, <laughs> you know, because it would be cool to see, like, okay, start with the fight. And then as the episode goes, we go back and see, you know, Swan making an announcement that Rand is the Dragon Reborn to the White Tower and get to see, like, okay, how people reacting and seeing how Elida, um, you know, gathers the, 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 her, her, her forces around, see what she did with it. What happened to them blues? Like, we got to get it to you. We got to get it to it. We got to get it to it. Now, I think it's going to show wise. Let's talk about show wise. I think it's going to be interesting seeing um, Suwan being in this position, getting deposed right after Lanfear gathered her together at that way gate. I will never forget how like I was talking about this way gate and how long Moraine, uh, Moraine was taken to open it. And I was like, girl, Lanfear just snatched that way gate open so quick. And Moiraine was praise dancing in front of that thing for so long. Right after um, Rand gave her back her powers, un undid that um, shielding. Girl, Moiraine, you <laughs> Moiraine was praise dancing in front of that uh, way gate. Anyway, and then I, I don't even know what possessed Suwan to even think that she was going to drag Lanfear in any way. And I, that's, that'd be Suwan's problem, girl. And that's why you got, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. That's why, you, I mean, at this point, that's why you got still, girl, like, <laughs> no shade, like, you really thought she was going to buck up and fight one of the Forsaken. And it's like, <laughs> y'all not even as strong as Nynaeve or you going to be thinking y'all doing all that. Like, what What are you talking about? Even even when Ray was like, girl, what are you? <laughs> when Ray was like, girl, I know you I know you just did not embrace Sidar Sa 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 right now. Like, I, I know you didn't just embrace, embrace Sidar when uh, uh, Lanfair is looking at you right now. That's the Forsaken in my mind. Like, what you going to do? Anyway, so getting even deeper into the politics of the White Tower right seeing how Sawan might think that she's holding certain information as well as she could and being strategic about certain moves meanwhile other people are looking at the things that she's doing um kicking the keeper out uh when she want to talk to Moirena and stuff like they're looking at what she's doing and there is a slow resistance growing because of course different people have different ideas about how we should handle the dragon reborn and then now you talk about that you just got dragged by one of the forsaken can you imagine if we see a trial of swan and like they're just like oh girl so you mean to tell me that you got hurt but you got dragged by one of the forsaken and you think that you can sit on that seat you think that you can sit on that seat get up <laughs> you light up oh my gosh <laughs> yo I just can't wait. I feel like Rafe is going to have, he has a lot of stuff to cover. So I think that I was, I was just talking about this. I think that we going to get Calendor really early. He going to snatch them girls up uh, with that lightning at the end of episode one. You know what I mean? And then after that, we need to go to Aiel or like, or, or the ways, or just, I don't know. It's just too many. So Rand, Rand and these swords, girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know, but there, there's a lot to cover. I just can't wait to see Rodion like them, them destroy. I, that will be such a amazing finale to just just watch them tear up Rodion. Um, what's his face? Who did, who's he fighting? He was fighting Asmodian, and they were tearing the city up. <laughs> he was fighting Asmodian, and they were tearing the city up. And so I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see the Aiel. I can't wait to see the wise ones. Teleram Rio. Ever since Agatha came out, I've just been I've been singing Teleram Rio <laughs> down down <laughs> down the Teleram Rio, honey. Like Egwene, uh, Nynaeve Mogadian. Yeah, girl, we need it. We need it. Anyway, please, please let me know what y'all think. This was just a quick little video, just getting us excited for season three. I will be doing reviews i did reviews of just like two episodes of the last season so if you search will of time on my channel you'll find this i didn't put in no playlist or anything but i think it's gonna come out next year sometime like i just don't see why it wouldn't at this point right maybe like uh i want it to be spring but like oh my gosh i'm so impatient but i'm going to be reviewing every episode so just be prepared for that be prepared to get your life with that love y'all so much and i'll catch y'all later Peace. Make sure that you're going to www.zaraxia.com. When you join the wait list there on the site, you will be the first to be notified when I drop my sequel. Also, you'll immediately get chapter one of my upcoming sequel of the upcoming book uh, sent to your email as a PDF. So check that out. Also, this is a different excerpt 
uh, from my upcoming book. So you definitely want to pause to read if you're trying to get your life. Uh, keep in mind that this upcoming book, the sequel, is following up the first book that is already released called Zoraxia Wrath of the God King. Um, I released it a couple years ago, a few years ago. It was my, really, it was my introduction to writing uh, fantasy and stuff. So just go easy on me. But either way, as you can see here, it's given 4.9 stars. It's given 4.9 stars. So yeah, check out Zoraxia Wrath of the God King while you wait for Zoraxia, the Vengeance of Cold Wind, right? And go to Zoraxia.com, sign up, join the wait list, get your free chapter. Thank you so much.